Hi YouTubers, today I'm going to show you a program that I found called Tiled. It's a great program to do level design for your 2D games. I got these sprites and tiles from Graphics Kid and I made up some more over here and these here so you can do underground stuff. So I'm going to change it from a winter scene to a summer scene. And you can see how easy it is to use this program called Tiled. So let's start off on the top. You can just do the edges here first. So you just click the box you want to use, or Tile for that matter, and you just paste them on. Just like this. And if you want to do a row, you click and then you just drag and then it falls in. You can do long sections as well. This is so awesome. Now when I want to do the underground section, I'm going to use these darker tiles. So there it goes. So it's as easy as that. And if you say make a mistake, it's no big deal. You just take another tile and put the one that should be there, just overwrite the other one. So let's do the edges. And it's just a matter of clicking and clicking. I'm going to do an edge there, that's one over there. And that one. That's that one there. And I'm just going to fill in here. It goes this quick to do a level design. Or to do a level, should I say. So you make a mistake there, you don't worry too much about that. You're going to fill it in with this, so you just fill it in. And then we get over here. <coughs> and <coughs> so now when you do this section here, you just right click. Oh wait, we've just got to make a line. This. You can actually, if you want to use that box, you just right click it, and then you can just drag it. You don't have to go back here all the time. So now you want to fill this whole section in here. So we just fill it in till there, and then we right click. Now we're copying all those, and now you just paste it as a huge brush. You just click it down and drag it across. And you've got a huge paintbrush. And let's just finish off here. Take no biggie, just come with a rough correct piece and we're nearly done here. And then this piece and that piece. And so you can carry on. One other thing I wanted to show you about layers here, yeah? you'll see that there's a little transparency showing through here that I've decided to use in my transparencies to give it a nicer edge. Not that it's a sharp edge, it's a bit of a rounded edge. So now to fix that, we just create a new layer. So we go up here, it's a new layer, so that's your second layer. And this is our top layer. So if we leave it like that, this is going to happen. So we click our background color, which is this, and you click it, you'll see now it takes away our top layer. But now we want this layer we're laying to be the 
one underneath. So what we do is you take the layer we just created, you right click it and then you move it down. So now you'll see there the pieces are underneath. And it gives you that illusion that it's rounded. And so you go under the other pieces. Now if you drop it down it's actually putting them behind. And later on if you want to save the separate layers you can just switch it off over here. And you'll see that it's only the very top layer that's showing now. So it'll only be this layer that you'll print or save in that case. So if you go here save export image as that'll be the layer you're saving. And if you want to save both layers and you just switch this one back on so now if you just save you'll see it will save that as well. So you just go save or file in that case save image as. It's easy as that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this kind of thing. And if you want to help me out to do more videos like this on a regular basis, pop over to my Patreon page. There I've got some sprites in it up for grabs for my Patreons and later some 3D models. Thanks for watching. Terazoid out.